Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. You know, I haven't done the type of... Um... Tangent type videos in a while. Or discussion, rant videos, whatever you want to call it. So why not? Before making this video, I keep, kept thinking... Uh, it kept crossing my mind how people have a tendency to over-exaggerate PTSD or over-exaggerate depression, but as I'm thinking about this, I, I try to, in my mind, relate myself to specifically the PTSD one, and randomly out of the blue, as I'm looking at the symptoms of that one specifically to help back up, I looked up a list of symptoms of that, but one stuck out more than the others. Sleep problems. Now there are several, several other symptoms of PTSD. And to have certain circumstances like that, you, have, you generally usually have to have most or all of the symptoms. I don't have PTSD. However, sometimes I wonder, do I have, or did I have, I should say, at this point? I don't know. It's hard for me to tell sometimes. Either sleep apnea, insomnia, or narcolepsia. Narcolepsia? I've already had, I've always had a hard time figuring out what that means. So, I'm going to kind of talk about that today. The reason I think about this is because in my past, for the most part, I've had an extreme struggle with sleep. I'll scatterly wake up throughout the night. I will, and when I don't, I'm usually awake until, well, who am I kidding, I'd basically be awake the whole night. But outside that, when I am able, when I, when I finally am able to get to sleep, it's usually not for very long. In fact, last night, as of this recording, throughout the night, I woke up seven times. I would go, I, I pretty much went to sleep like at around 8.30 p.m. Or, I guess, for those who do military time. Well, shoot. Now I got a math. 20. 20 00. Forgive me if I said that wrong, but still. Twenty o'clock. Something like that. I don't know. But anyway. I, I fell asleep around that point in time. But I wake up three hours later at around 11 p.m. or 23 o'clock and can't get back to sleep for like another two hours. Every time after that, I would fall asleep, wake up an hour later, fall asleep, wake up an hour later. So I guess it was a little bit more than that, but or at least it would be if I went back to sleep after the third time. It was really early on in the morning, my brain's racing, so I'm like, eh, might as well just record something before I record the video that you guys will see later today. <sighs> but I digress. It's stuff like that that makes me wonder. Do I actually suffer from any of these, or is it just something else? I honestly kind of wish I knew. This is something that has bothered me a lot throughout my life. For the most part of my life, I haven't really struggled with something like this. It wasn't until I started working different jobs where this kind of thing would be a problem. My first job, not so much. I always worked during the day. I would only work up until a specific point in time. And I would crash. I usually did work morning shifts, so 
it, as I said, it wasn't as big a problem. It wasn't until I started working my third job here, which was a retail company, which I'm not going to talk too much about. But working that job, sometimes they would have me work nights, sometimes they'd have me work mornings, sometimes midday. It was kind of scattered and all over the place. Now, it was a seasonal job, and this is kind of what seasonal jobs normally do. Emphasis on normally. But one thing I noticed in me is that I just couldn't sleep. My, because of the fact that my brain didn't know when, know when to be up and it didn't know when not to be up. At first, I was always tired. I was always drowsy. But eventually, I just... Sleep was almost, emphasis on almost, not a thing for me. And it became a worry on my mind. To an extent, to an extent, it still is today. So, that being said, fast forward to now. Even though things have been a little bit more balanced out, not a hundred percent, it makes me worry or wonder. Do I have any of the three that I listed? I try looking up like the symptoms of this thing, but regardless of where I look, it's always different. I could just say I struggle with sleep. And I could try to take medication for it. But because of certain aspects in my real life, the idea of me taking things like NyQuil, Benadryl, stuff like that is probably not the best idea for me. It would actually impact my personal health in a negative way. I'm not going to go into details why. That I do kind of want to say for another time if needed. However, the point of that statement is just that I can't. And I hate it. But not to the degree where I'm going to rage about it. I mean, that's just stupid. But as I said, I do wonder. What does that label me as? Insomniac? A narcoleptic insomniac? Um, someone who suffers from sleep apnea? I honestly have no idea. And to a degree, it does bother me. Maybe it's some because of that, that's part of the reason why my brain is always active at night, just because I'll wake up constantly and start wondering that. I don't know. I just feel like sometimes that there is some kind of sleep disorder that I suffer from because of everything that I've gone through. Most people just adapt and cope with it, or find ways to make it so they don't get this. Unfortunately for me, I can't do that, as I've already kind of explained. But that, what category would that put me under? Or maybe I'm just over-exaggerating it in my mind. I don't know. I don't know the symptoms, unlike most things. I don't know the symptoms of the three things that I listed. Insomnia, narcoleptia, narcolepsia? One of the two or sleep apnea. I don't know the symptoms of the three. For all I know, I could just it just could just be sleep problems. That's it. I wish I knew. This is kind of something that does nag at me a lot. 
something that I kind of just wanted to throw a tangent out really quick about. Anyway, I'm going to leave this here. This is just kind of something that was going through my head tonight. Um, well, one way or the other, thanks for watching this video, guys. I did have something else I was going to talk about, but this kind of crossed my mind and... Hmm. Might as well get it off my chest, I guess, because it was probably going to come up at some point in the future anyway. So, again, thanks for watching this video, guys. Um, I guess you could call this an About Me video, but if you liked this video, make sure to push that like button and so far you can't sit anymore. And if you really like to consider subscribing to the channel, have a suggestion for something that you'd like me to discuss or talk about, whether it's about me, like this one, or just a random topic. As long as it's not pol political or religion related. The one thing that I was willing, I'm willing to talk about, I've already talked about when it comes to religion. But. As long as it's not one of those two topics, have at it. As far as suggestions go, and I'll consider it. Um, but, yeah, if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments below. Want to check out any other of these specific, a, a, any other topic uh, that I've discussed that, or any other stories I've given that are about me specifically, like this particular video? Click the link on the side of my head, or if you want to watch anything else that might float your boat a little bit better than this, or a little bit more than this, click the link on this side, and it'll take you to whatever YouTube decides matches your style better, I guess. In the meantime, though, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for watching this video, everyone, and I hope to see all of you in another video. Bye for now.